Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Mind Over Magic. It is a magical school management builder uh, with some exploration and also tentacle creatures, apparently. Uh, it's available as part of the Steam Next Fest, and it looks pretty neat. Uh, let's see. And I think this is just a... it's... oh no. It is actually a thing. I thought this was like an opening for the uh, demo, but no, it's opening for the game. If you're reading this, you are unfortunate indeed. Each day the fog spreads, afflicting the mind of our young mages. We hoped the school would stand as a bulwark against the madness, but the dread overwhelmed us. Do not fear the task ahead. Do not fear the task ahead, nor the starvation, poisons, nightmares, swarms of rats, or predatory ooze. All the knowledge you require rests within these pages. Rebuild the school. Ta train brilliant new mages. Resist the dread. I have a plan that may let me remain in spirit. If this fails, may your death be as quick be quick and painless. Charlotte, founder, the Gem Cave Towers. Student summoner. Uh-oh. Well, I've summoned a fox girl and some other people. Well, let's figure out what I'm gonna do. So Oraculum reveals chambers uh new chambers of the underschool. Students must explore the underschool and pass a trial to graduate. Start trial. Oh, looks like we need more people though. So I, I guess I will wait until we have sufficient students. It looks like we only got three. Okay. Reserves combatants. I see. So we've got to just drag them over here, presumably. So Burwer Larval Larva's Lair. Bring supplies, zero to ten. We don't have any. Start. It looks like they're just gonna go in here and fight. Okay. I'm interested. This is not what I was expecting it would be. When students undergo, uh, undergo, undergo a trial, they must battle a series of monsters in an attempt to defeat a powerful underlord. You cannot assist them. They will survive or die based on their training. If you've taught them well, they will be victorious. If not, well, it's better not to think about it. Your job is to select enough students, place them in the best order, and equip them with everything they need to be successful. Once students have begun the trial, their fate is in their own hands. Kinda dark, but here we go. I guess I should have paid attention a little bit to my order of operations and who goes first. Because I think Balthazar was supposed to be our front liner, but maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, it probably doesn't matter for this one at the very least. So that's damage mana capacity, maybe? Oh, good. I can control the speed with Q and E. Okay, and they're back. They've passed the trial. And we have some more things to do. Book of Dread, no research. Okay, so choose a magic. Select a power to unlock it and, and gain escape from this dungeon. So knowledge regain, the fog recedes, new research available, the arcane secretary, tier one wands of the wand shaper, mana crystal. So start with a mana lectern, researched, and rewards an additional mana crystal, or gruel pots. Research and meal recipes at the grill pot output twice as much. Costs two casts. Mana lantern. Okay. Mana crystal. Used to build mana lantern. Mana is a character's energy. Spent skill recharge lightning. I think I'm going to go for dream of plenty. I have no way of knowing which is better. Um, but it's fine. What can I build? Can I build anything? We have a furry mite corpse. Finishing boss. Well, the trial is complete. The trial is ready to complete. Oh, here we go. Complete trial. So hunger, sleep, recreation, status, sanity, magic. I don't know. Trial completed. This realm door merely distracts from the academy's purpose. We are here to train great wizards, not to play with rocks. All right. Oh. So this is our staff now. Uh, wow, when they graduate, they got uh, older. <laughs> sure, why not? We can also re-roll their appearance. Let's see, so that's Bel... Mm, I liked him better. I almost kind of wish I could go back. Okay, that's good, Balthazar. Honestly, that's probably fine for Alexandra. And... Oh. I kind of like that. Oh, but this is Ca this is a Cassie. Sure, let's go with that. A vivified. Ooh. Alright, so these are our teachers, I suppose. Uh, 
Oh, I see. I had to unpause. Congratulations. You are now old. Okay, we've completed the chapter. Researched a thing. Learn about materials. Underschool. Chamber cleared. Research. Dream of plenty. Lightning. Oh, and we have the surface now. Okay, waiting for tasks. So we also have... Oh, Charlotte. Of course. The founder. Founder's wand. Uh, let's see. So researched under... Uh, all right. Let's figure out what I can even do here. Construction, hallway, furniture, crafting, gruel pot. But we need stone. Add a summoning order. Oraculum. We don't have any other research. Burden wand to summon an extra powerful student or the amount of trauma... The amount that trauma reduces a character's max sanity is reduced. But I need some vivified pages before I can actually do that. So, what am I doing? Oh, here we go. In order to build a school, you'll need to collect stone and wood. Select stones and trees to press the and press the minor chop buttons. Tells the staff that someone needs to come and do work. They will use nature to chop and earth to mine. School is not merely a means of survival, but a place to thrive, to learn... Or to live, to train magic, and to fight back against the dread. Alright, so we need to... Let's see. Chop. We don't want to destroy, though. Is it just G for all of these? Yes. We might as well actually harvest a couple of the gut berries as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go ham on this area. And let's see how they go. This is cool. Your newly graduated mages have emerged from the underschool and are now staff ready to work. They need your help to find food, build a place to sleep, and start construction on a new school for young mages. But don't wait too long to summon students. The fog approaches. Okay, and what is our school name? Um, I am terrible at naming things. There we go. Let's see if that even fits. Bog Broom Academy for Average Magi. <laughs> well, this is kind of neat. I'll have to figure out priorities in some uh, at some point. But right now, like these are the only characters I even have, so it doesn't matter. Oh wow, the uh, the dire rats don't even care. Oh, I see. That's a progression meter. But yeah, they they don't care. Okay, hopefully we can just store a bunch of this stuff, or maybe it's automatically being told to store. I have no idea. Well, one way or another, uh, well, we're at, at this and hopefully have some more things. Did we figure out storage? We have doors, stairs, roofs, furniture, cots, crafting, wand shaper, gruel pot, arcane secretary. Unless I'm actually supposed to build up here, construction. Uh, let's see, hallway free, door? No wall or floor. Not supported. Okay. No, I don't want that. Uh, bring back the build. Okay, and you can you can see where it starts becoming structurally unsound. I don't know. Let's just let this go for a little while. Hopefully we'll have plenty of materials to actually work with here. Okay, what else do we have? We've got oodles of wood. I guess we'll have plenty of stone by the time we're done with this. Hopefully. Unreachable object. Oh, that's fine. Founder's grave. Contains Charlotte. All dead staff, all dead students. Growing hollowly. Groan. Oh, hollow, hollow lily? 
It looks like Char Charlock can still do whatever. And once that door is finished, it'll be done. This really reminds me of that other um, wizard school management game that I played a while back. But better? Like, a lot better. At least a lot deeper. Let's just do that. Floors again. And we might as well get another door up in here. Because the one problem is, a lot of this is going to take a little while. I got to get this door down before I go anywhere. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's a good midpoint. Okay, let's hope they don't get stuck on the other side. And while we're here, I guess I'll mark a couple more trees. Hopefully the trees will regrow. Cancel that shop. Because I probably shouldn't chop any partially grown trees, at least for the moment. I guess we might as well go over here and mark a couple of these as well. Because if that's done... One more. I kind of wish I could actually queue things up without actually having the requisite resources. Okay, so we've learned about materials. What about construction? Okay, build a wall or two, connect them with the roof to keep the rain off. Like with the build tool. Oh. Uh, can I demolish? Cancel those. I might as well... I guess just build that for now. Okay, 50% 50% of wonk. Oh. Max wonk. No wonk. Oh, it it's unevenly wonky. I don't know. I like this is an average school for average witches. There is there is to be a, a minuscule amount of wonk here, probably. So what else can we do? Teaching, learning, lighting, crafting. We should probably get a grilled pot. Oh. Oh, there's depth. There's depth to this game. an arcane secretary. Research new knowledge for the school. No, because that's that's the book. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put that there. We'll have to move a bunch of these things. So add a meal order. Uh, gutberry soup. Reduces sanity and conviction. That's not great. Let's just have four. Not that we specifically need it. I'll have to find some better recipes. Hopefully sanity loss isn't that dire. Okay. See, if I can have that roof completed, at the very least, we'll have something. Okay. Do I want to just do that with no wonk? I mean, it does, in fact, look wonky. Uh, because it might not even blend in. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to think about this too much at the moment. At a later date, I will make this taller and more interesting. Okay, do we have properties, tasks? No. Priority. 
Who is vaguely good at cooking? with a high priority. Beast care, charge, cook, assemble, construct, wands. Wow. Um, I'm not seeing anything as more or less valuable. So let, let's just make cooking a little bit higher. Okay, so we've completed a room. Rooms are the fundamental building block of your school. Enclose a space using a combination of walls, floors, and roofs to create them. In addition to providing shelter, rooms grant bonuses to tasks performed inside them. The type of room created is based on the size, location, and contents, and shape of the enclosed area. Open the room view to view all available types of room. Room, 21 luxury. Okay, not scullery, because remove one research or crafting station. Not workshop, because cooking station. Not dining room. Not classroom. Not mess hall. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back here. I'm actually going to demolish this. We're going to just get rid of all of the roofs. Um, I'm going to put a floor on this one. That should work. What I'm probably going to do is, yeah, just kind of chop the top off of both of these. Go from there. Um, let's get a spiral staircase so we can actually get upstairs. We are going to need this space because I'm going to want specific rooms. Have we learned about rooms? Yes. We just don't care at the moment. Learn about hunger. Mages require food to survive. Be their current hunger level on the needs tab. If the hunger bar reaches zero, the mage will die. Simplest way to feed them is by harvesting gutberry vines. Nobody likes a gutberry meal, but it satisfies hunger. Okay, and we have gutberry now, so we won't have to worry about food as much. Okay, and these are just random events. So we've got a bunch of stone, we've got a decent amount of wood. This room is uh, not useful at the moment. Add wand order. Shrink, disintegrate, build a copy, or move. Okay, shrink to a portable size, to, to, uh, size turns it into its ingredients. Ah, gotcha. So we can also make a couple of wands if we want to. We need some sinew if I want to do attack. Defend. 10 growth, nature skill, 1 cast. That's viscera. And we still don't have a mitten. I don't actually know if this stuff rots. Uh, let's see. Gather. Oh. Okay, so that's something useful. We also have research. Ooh. Okay, but we're going to have to figure that out later. Wands cancel. What about building? Once again. I really like the fact that, despite the fact that this is a uh, two-dimensional, uh, it's it looks two-dimensional. It is in fact uh, like a full 3D game, at least to some degree. That little bit of depth goes an incredibly long way, as far as making a game feel more interesting, and also makes the kind of building components feel about a lot better. So we should probably also get some cots somewhere. Learning Stone. Or Viscera. Okay, I still haven't figured out how to get the Midden Heap. No research selected. Okay, so we gotta figure that out. Set research. Okay, do until X, but I'm assuming we don't have enough. Oh, fog, it, fog is advancing. Six days until destruction. Push back the fog by one day by defeating Underlords. Okay.
Let me see. Furniture. And I can't put anything down below. I see. Can I rotate these? I can. I'm just going to do that for the time being. It's not a room, but at least we'll have some stuff. So is that coming from both sides? Yes. So in that case, we might want to do a summoning order. Oh, but I'm going to need wands if I want to make any of these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do until we have one of each. We don't need an infinite amount. We just need a little bit of each. Uh, one of each so I can just summon three students at a time. Hopefully we can get more staff too. Yeah, we, o we only need one of each at the moment. Uh, just to get me... Okay, there we go. Uh, just to get me sufficient uh, students. And hopefully that'll then get me some staff too. So conviction, minus two per hour... Need a br oh break, conviction. I don't know how to increase conviction. We'll have to figure out better, better food too. So we have stairs. Let's just watch this. I like the oh, that's what a staircase looks like. Versus a spiral staircase. It'll cut through floors. My main question is. And I have multi- I don't know. I like the spiral staircases. The main question is, can I have a spiral staircase that connects multiple floors? I guess I will find out. Where's my um, last character? Oh, they're, they're just sleeping on the floor. Okay, so let's speed this up a little bit. This is um really good. At the very least, I'm going to move these here. Because while we're not currently using them, it would kind of suck to lose them entirely just because they're just outside of range. Oh, and we do, have, we do have another tree. We're actually kind of good. And yeah, luckily Charlotte's going to do most of most of my work for me. Okay, so we're just missing the healer's wand. And I just need some gut berries for that. I need to, like, gather. Filter any harvest. Oh, I see. This is just the gather tool. Well, Charlotte's gonna just get everything done for me, I suppose. What else do you need? Gut berries. Do we not? Okay. I guess let's just get a bunch of gut berries for a moment. And I guess construction wise, we don't need a roof. So instead, I'm just going to work on. Increasing the size of this for the moment. Oh. We have a couple of wands here. Uh, nature 2. Ah, Defender's Wand. So it has those two spells. So it does look like we can get some more if we wanted to at the moment. But yeah, we just have those stocked. Okay, who is good at wands? So I'm going to prioritize wands as well for Cassie. Balthazar will do mining and repair. Okay, now we've got the healer's wand, so let's actually get some students. Because we only need those three for now. Okay, let's let's go back to furniture because I'm going to need more for each of my students.
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do much more than that. No classes available for students. But we need the learning st stone. Which means I need viscera. And then, how are we doing on research? Middenheap. Oh, we've got it, actually. Okay, build garden. Middenheap. I'll just put one of those out there. Uh, let's see. And then I suppose we're going to demolish this roof. Okay, build one up. I don't actually know how tall things need to be. Maybe one more. I'm going to do one more and we'll just figure it out. Okay, uh, next order of business. Dining table, chest. Braziers, bitter rice pot. Place to grow bitter rice crop. Grows quickly. Food isn't tasty. Mana lantern. I'm going to go for the mana lantern. That seems important. Okay, so I have a couple of students. But I'm not using them for anything for obvious reasons. Uh, let's see. Okay, can I get the door in here? No. No wall or floor. Oh. I don't know what that's going to do. Hopefully they'll still be able to finish it. There it is. Okay. So I guess we're just going to determine everything based off of the height of our doors. Okay, let's fill this in. Possibly overkill, but whatever. Okay, well we're here. Chop down that tree, chop down this tree. We're gonna need a little bit more. And I'm out of stone as well. Yeah, I might as well have actual rooms here. I don't think we need to worry about weather as much, which is nice. Here's the other question. Oh, I could. Yeah, this might be one of those where we specifically um, yeah, invalid ground. We might want to specifically have kind of an upside down pyramid thing going on here. Okay. When fully grown, void shrooms will drain mana at a steady rate for nearby mages. Staff can use nature to harvest them. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, we just need to have more lighting. That's red. I guess, you know what? At least for now. Uh, shoot. This one. I'm just going to have it based on floors. Oh, but I need more sinew for that one. Which means, of course, I must hunt more dire rats. Luckily, the dire rats don't fight back, so we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's see. Storage, fog is advancing, teaching. I guess all things considered, maybe we don't need to worry about this too much. Oh, let's take a look at this. Austere bedroom. Towered private. Conviction to sleepers. Sanity, sanity to sleepers. Okay, so that is very much what I was looking for and hoping for.
Okay, what is our unreachable object? That one. Why not? Oh. Because I'm a goofy person. Rain incoming. Hey! Good for me. Oh, we do have a void cap. Unfortunately, can't do anything at the moment. Uh, let's see. Got oodles of stone, but uh, yeah, I can't do anything with it. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm just going to boost those so we can build some more wands. What else do we have? We have a mana font. Where's mana? Researching Book of Dread purifies the mana font. Yeah, I think really what I need to do is go on an adventure. Luckily, these characters are about to wake up. We can move the cot so it's not blocking the way anymore. Okay. Front cot. I'm just going to move it here. Eventually, we'll have a different bedroom set up. I'll probably just move everything upwards. Okay, I should probably also make sure we've got six of these. Ah, and because it's raining, everything outside is getting damaged. I, yeah, I don't know what to do about that at the moment. Uh, let's see, bitter rice plot. Chest? Oh yeah, we should probably get some chests. There, so now we have a second room. Build, teaching, learning stone. Still not enough viscera? Really? I guess possibly we're using it for other things. There's one. Boy, how many dire rats am I going to have to just execute here to get what I need? There it is. Okay. Unless that ends up being used for something else, I'd certainly hope not. Okay. And yeah, I might be able to just send my students out to just kind of do whatever. But I'd like to maybe have them learn a little bit. Before we do anything else. And then, yeah, we should get those chests down so we can actually store some of these things. Okay, so we have a basic classroom, extra learning rate, shrink disintegrate, access properties. I don't know how lessons work. Okay, so learn about hunger. Done that, done that, done that. Research, yeah, summoning students, know about that. Sanity and conviction. Okay, positive or negative events will affect sanity, uh, will affect the conviction of staff. Mistreating staff too long leads them to break. And they'll lash out and quit. Fair enough. Rain and durability. Know about that. Classes. School offers a beacon of hope to magically gifted students who would otherwise succumb to nightmares. To make good on this promise, you need your staff to teach classes, allowing your students to master, master their magic. To start a class, build a learning stone. During scheduled periods, staff will teach students what they need to learn based on their magic skills and wants. Okay, so let's take a look at skills, tasks, students, class. Okay, and I'll have to mess with these at a later date. For now, though, what time of day is it? Where are my students? What else do we have? Views, room type? No. Group, log, consume? Manage meals. I don't think we have too many of those. Task priority. Oh, yep, that is useful. Tasks. Lecture, teach. Priority. Summon, tend. Quilting. Middens, churn. Ah, teach. 
Well, Charlotte's not particularly amazing at anything, so I'll have her priori prioritize teaching. But shouldn't be right in the middle of the day if we check schedule. Oh, I see. We're in a work period. Class begins. Okay. Now, is that all of my students? No. So we might actually want to build another learning stone. We cannot. Oh, there they are. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, they are gaining in skill very slowly. Not fully trained. Not too much. Okay, furniture, man and lantern. I'm just going to put one there for the time being. Storage chest. I need some smokestick. Okay, we have an amount. We also have ice flower. And Phoenix's kiss. So I might as well grab a couple of these basic resources for a moment. So yeah, we should have we should have some chests around here. I'll just put a bunch of them there. That'll... I think no matter what, I think that's going to be my storage room. I'll just have to figure it out later. But this way we can take all these resources indoors and start storing them. As opposed to keeping them outside. However, so let's take a look at these students. So, fire's maxed out, dark is maxed out. I think that's gonna be it. Start trial. Ah, I need a fully trained student before I can do any of these things. Okay, and the students will actually do some light chore storage business. But we are going to have to push back at, at the darkness here. Otherwise, we are going to run into some uh, issues. I'm just going to select a bunch of these for gathering. I don't exactly know what I'm going to need. Okay. Oh, it's lighting level. There's a red wall torch. I don't know what the differences are on these, apart from just lighting. That's a cool looking room. Now this is, wait, a regular room. Oh. Needs private. I see. Yeah, basic classroom. What else can we have? Scullery. At least it's grounded, not mess hall. Okay, so yeah, we don't have an austere bedroom. Well, at this point, we are slightly in trouble. I'm going to need some more food. I guess I'll start working on research. I should have been working on the bitter rice this entire time. I just didn't even think a worm read. What else can I make? Got berry soup, bitter gruel. Requires bitter rice. But we don't have any. And oddly enough, we can't eat the uh, carcasses yet. Okay, we have at least one gut, gut berry vine. We're not going to starve immediately. Very hungry. Uh, yeah, I messed that one up. And hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit.
But I, I kind of ignored a lot of these things. Because I thought I'd have enough gut berries. Uh, and I have to have fully trained students. But then again, we did miss a whole period. So I might actually be able to do... Uh, I might be able to fully train them. Let's see, status. Hunger. Okay. We've learned the bitter rice pot. Garden. Bitter rice. I'm just going to do four of them right there. And then a second midden heap. Oh yeah, because the midden, midden heap has a limited amount of capacity. What is that? Phoenix Kiss, but is barely grown. Okay, so we are not doing too hot food-wise. Hopefully this gut berry will be fully grown by the end of the day. Yeah, near starving. Do they eat their food? Probably. I don't think we have any other food at the moment. Oh boy. At least we kind of have the full day. And maybe bitter rice. Maybe bitter rice will be okay. Well, one way or another we can get this and hopefully just somebody else doesn't eat it in the meantime. There we go. Yeah, there was just so much of this stuff that I was like, yeah, I think I'll be fine, right? And the answer is nope. Well, they haven't died yet. Okay, that's good. Please go eat. Oh, Eleanor has eaten. Okay, so we're good. And we actually have some farms that should be done growing by the end of tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we even have to work on? All of my chests are not full. We are kind of limited. I guess construction. This part's a, a bit wonky. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough space. Uh mm. I think I'm just gonna wait for a moment. I don't think I wanna do too much. We'll have to build this up, but we barely have any wood. So instead, I'm just going to hope these students get to fully trained, like, right now. I'm, al I'm almost wondering if, because this guy has garbage stats... Yes! So chances are my students get a lot better. Okay, fully trained students. Every student has a natural limit to their magical ability. Once they've learned all they can, they're considered fully trained and gain a gold star on their portrait. Fully trained students will no longer go to class, will do their tasks, and attend to their needs. Once you have a critical mass of fully trained students, they must complete their education in the underschool. So effectively, we're going to be replacing our um, staff with fully trained, uh, fully trained students. And the upper limit to every student's stats probably is either based on the wand quality or the teacher as well. It's probably a combination of both. And we'll have plenty of food tomorrow. Hey, and rain should help too. So as soon as Eleanor is done, there we go. Raculum, start trial. In, okay, so we have a healer's wand, which has restorative. 
An intensify attack. Ooh. Okay. So attacker and defender. So I think we want to put... We want to switch this up. I'm assuming we have to do that. Bring supplies. We can also bring ice petal and viscera. Ice petal. Restores mana. Well, at this point, I have no choice but to bring everything. Hopefully... I didn't actually check to see if it would be lost on use. But one way or another, we've got a... We've got to send them out on a trial. What's up? Very hungry. Hunger. Oh. I see. They needed to deliver the things. Well... Hopefully, being hungry is not going to get in their way of doing this. And I think this is the same trial as last time. So we should be good. I'm hoping. Okay, well, that's that. We're done with it. All right, complete trial. So after defeating the burrower larva, uh, defeating the burrow larva, the fog is back 15 cells. Cool. All right, so we can, we have current staff for wizards. Vivified villages quest. Scared but determined students must investigate reports of a secret cache of book dread pages. So these are not really any better. I think I'm gonna send them off on this quest instead. Okay, determined new wizards asked to defend hapless villagers from advancing the advancing fog easily took care of business. Eleanor overcame a fear of heights and led the team with inspirational conviction. All right. And now they're functionally gone for good. And now we have a bunch of gut berries. No, don't do that. Well, one way or another. Go with those. I'll have to make my wands better, but at least we can hire some new students again. Which is what I was looking for. We also got another tree. Okay. Well, it's fine. I think we'll be okay. I don't know what the next trial is going to be. I don't know if they get harder. I'm. They've got to, right? Here, I'm also going to disintegrate these two bits. Because at this point, we need we need to um, have that second spiral staircase. I don't know what I'm going to use this room for. Possibly storage, possibly other things. Um, oh, and we did, in fact, we do have a, a student. Well... Lattice. Cancel storage, but I want to get another spiral staircase. Yeah, I'll just have that go there. And then I'm going to need more wood. But I figure I might as well start working on the next floor as soon as I possibly can. Okay, this tree is done. And we should also have these. Actually, yeah, we've got plenty of bitter rice now. So even though the fact that this food is really not great for my people, uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, so how do I want to handle this? I don't know what this room is going to be. I guess we could turn this into the dining room.
Yeah, I'll figure it out. I, we've bought ourselves a considerable amount of time and should have an easy, easy time building everything else up. Uh, wow, they actually built this really fast. Alright, here's the one thing I wanted to do. Ooh, the one question is... Required lights, done. So if, if I build outwards, sideways, it might not get as much sun. We could move it. Let's just go upwards. At some point I will go outwards. But right now, we have an overabundance kind of of space. And I guess let's just mine a bunch of these. I wonder if we can use gut berries for alchemy. Probably. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna waste a bit of time here. suppose. Yeah, the one other question is, how the heck do I get a bedroom with privacy? Because I can't rotate these. Not easily. Because if I could almost build it like a European train car system, that wouldn't be the worst idea. I don't... I don't actually know. Oh, you know what I should also do? Where are we at on the Book of Dread? Oh, I can't actually do this. We have the vivified pages. Oh! This probably makes it harder. New destination, Burrower Moth's Lair. So while it would get me some more tech, it would also increase the overall difficulty here. So why don't we get that? And then Chapter 2. Ah, Chapter 2 seems to be the upper limit. Well, I suppose I don't really have too much of a choice. Oh, we can also improve our wands, kind of. New custom wand. So attack and then defense. Flame armor. So these might not be in the game yet. Fortify and grants NHP at the start of a dungeon run to characters before and after the fortifying character in the queue. Bonus lasts for the entire run. Defenses spell regenerate. Character regenerate 8, 8 H, uh, N HP every time. Ooh. Some of these are actually really good. I might have to look into that. What are the current ones? What do they do? Guess can I check? Combat. Water bolt. Limited mana. Social tasks. They dislike people. Okay. Yeah, so I still don't know what to do with some of these rooms. And I need more wood. Oh, there's some more. Here's the question. Is this getting less sun? Is required light 100%? I'm curious about that. Because one of the easiest solutions I can have is just have a little bedroom off the side of these. Okay, fog is advancing. It's fine. 
build if I did another spiral stair. I'm just going to do that. I have an idea. But also we want to research. Braziers? Do we even care? Floor torch. Nope. Not overwhelmingly. Because I guess my main question with bedrooms is what counts as privacy? We, I suppose we still don't have enough wood. Uh, that's a problem. Looks like they get most of their stuff back, at the very least. The main issue is we have no dining area. We have a limited amount of things. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I want to go to this. Dining room. At a dining table. Two dining tables. Not a workshop. Yeah, the question is, what's the difference between... Okay, not a scullery because it needs a cooking station and needs grounded. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna shrink this. Okay, so... Faster cooking rate. Kind of unnecessarily... I almost wonder if I can shrink this. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Where did that go? Uh, uh, remove one shrink shrunk chest. Large, I'm going to move it over here. Because here's the thing. Color doesn't need to be big. Let's have a really small scullery. There we go. And this can be anything. What is this room? Research. Uh, could do a workshop. But needs lofted. I don't know how that works. Could do a dining room. I don't know how private works, though. Why don't, why don't we make this into the dining room? Okay, so when we shrink this and shrink this. Let's see, furniture. Dining table, we need more wood. Oh, we have an extra tree. Let's get to work on that. How are my students doing? Almost fully trained, so we can send them out on another mission, get a little bit more space. Let's see. Where do we even put these? I'm just going to put them both there. Can I even move this? I don't think I can. But at least we can have this be a mess hall. As opposed to a dining room. So sanity versus conviction to diners. Okay. I guess I'll have a separate dining room over here. I don't know th what the differences are going to be, but I'm not going to be using this room for much else anyway. Just some storage, really. There we go. Oh, you know the other thing I need to do? Lighting. I need some wall torches. Here we go.
Learn about nightmares. Once a student has a nightmare, they'll fall temporarily under control of the dread. Varying duration and negative effects upon waking from the trauma, they'll be permanently laden with a trauma. Okay, so let's... No, we still need more wood. And we are fresh out, at least for the moment. So this is not bad. It also looks like we only have one torch in here, but maybe that's okay. Oh, also all of my characters are... Wait, what's up with this? Minor, minor nightmare risk, sanity. Sanity is very low. Boy, sounds like a time for these students to gra graduate. Okay, healer. There. And we're just going to fight this again. I don't... Let's just bring five viscera. I don't think we need the ice petals that bad. I'll bring one. I should probably harvest more. Okay, what else do we have over here? Might as well clear a number of these out. Alright. There we go. Hey, can I see their traits and tasks and stuff? Magic, combat, social. And it looks like it's the exact same fight every single time. Oh, that's okay. This will just give me a little bit more space. Five da days until destruction. Push the fog back by up to two days by defeating the Underlords. Okay. Oh. So I think we are going to need more students, is the answer. Also looks like there's a lot more resources here. Okay, trial complete. So current wizard staff. Uh, let's see. I can get some more vivified pages. Are any of these characters actually really good? Compared to what I've got, no. I'm just going to send them out again. Okay, so things I'm going to want. Wood. Okay, so we just barely got what we needed there, kind of, sort of. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and have three, um, three beds at the end of this one. Just to attempt to have some proper privacy. Oh, there's also the hallway. Oh. And this is an austere bedroom. So I can actually do a hallway if I wanted to. So in that case, I think it's time that I move this. Okay, I don't know how much space they need. Let's just give them a limited amount of space. Because my one thing I want to check is if I put another set of beds here along the back, does that also count as privacy? Because if it does, sick. If it doesn't, then we'll just start doing this for a couple of these bedrooms. And if it doesn't, so be it. Okay, still an austere bedroom. Not a whole lot. Drinks. Oh, right. I did want to build some things. I still don't know what lofted is. So what do we have? Scullery workshop needs lofted. Taller than it is wide. Ooh. 
Okay. Huh. Well, unfortunately, we don't have... We do have some amount of wood. Private. Only one point of entry. Got it. One outer wall that is at least three cells taller than the other. Towered. Okay, those are going to be interesting to play around with. Unfortunately, I think we've come to the end of our time and then some. Uh, I was, yeah, I was going to go to chapter two. Book of Dread. Powerful allied now. Let's go for Iron Will. There we go. So we can get at least get to chapter two. I could continue to play it. Ah, I could continue to play this if I really wanted to, but I think instead I'm going to leave that for when the game is actually out. As right now it is just a demo for the next fest, um, but it's a really promising one, and I can't wait to see more of it. That's for absolute sure. It's just uh, I like the sandbox elements. I like the fact that it's got much more of a freeform building aspect. I'm trying to remember the other Magic School sandbox game that I played a couple years ago. Uh, I really liked that one, but it felt a little bit uh, disconnected. This one feels much more specific. Every room is to my specific specifications. The students matter a little bit more. The spells matter a lot more. And it feels like everything is just a little bit more tangible, I guess, with this one, is what I'm trying to say. Which may or may not sound kind of weird, but just like, this is a proper colony builder, but themed as a magic school, and it works really well, and I can't wait to see more of it. Uh, so I will be coming back to this uh, with a lot more probably when the game launches. I, I feel like I'm starting to overpromise, but some of these games are so dang cool, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to just leave it as just like a one-off. Uh, so I'll probably stream this at launch uh, whenever that's going to be. But for now at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons more to check out and show off. And of course, if you want to try this yourselves, the demo is available on Steam right now. Uh, so just follow the link in the description below and you can try it and wishlist it yourself. And uh, make sure you do if you liked this game in any way, shape, or form because... I guess I said that twice, but whatever. Um, because the more a game is wishlisted, the greater it will rank on Steam, both for the next fest and just overall. So it really helps the devs out. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.